much as I did, mate. I was very tired this morning. <laughs> and in a bit of a rush. <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay, battle prep is just pants. Ointment is also pants. So, in terms of proactivity, we could go Calvate. We could go for um, Emissary. I'm just scared of the old Maruna, though. Tony just her own card. I'm not interested in that. I guess we could go Calvate. It obviously just opens up getting a uh, getting bled. I don't want to play into Maruna. And I don't really want to go Diplomacy because Monsters doesn't have that many good proactive options. It's like Riders and stuff like that. You're often going to be looking for it. So let's try and win round one with the Blightmaker. We've committed the Calvate, so we want to win round one for sure. We do not want to get bled. Yeah, Calvate is definitely risky, but I'm a risky guy, mate. So we still have a tactic in hand as well. So we do get the bleeding value on this one. We do currently have dominance as well. Maybe we just play emissary here to a little bit taller, make it more difficult for the bar guys to get a kill. Yeah, I mean, I didn't want to play the Calvate particularly, but I had little choice, really. It was either that or, like, I could have gone for a Diplomacy. Mm, a superb specimen, truly. So while this, like, uh, this play is bad for, like, gives them a decent card on top of their deck, it's not great. But more importantly is it just plays for a bunch of points, right? 3 plus 6, like a 9-point play. So again, Dominance is pretty relevant because it gives them an extra consume without it. I guess we just go for this at this point. Ooh. Incubus is definitely not the option. We're too far away from Sabbath for that ever to be a real threat. So take the Italian football player, the Barbagazzi. And they are just quite inclined to try and apply a bunch of pressure because this does give them dominance, unfortunately, as well. With the fact we slammed you on the Calvate earlier. Mm, a superb specimen, true. Okay. No, I mean, Blightmaker is just good for a 6. It plays for, what, 11 on Major Assassin? It's just good. Thins your deck as well. Which, obviously, the thinning, okay, isn't super relevant. It's still, like, somewhat relevant. Boop. That should do it for us. We could invo Toad Prince, it's a bit of carryover. Uh, I look at Black Mirror because two provision card. Um, I don't think that's a very good way of looking at it, to be honest. So the decision here is if we want to do any kind of bleed or not. I would quite like to bleed out the haunt, right? Equally, it's quite risky. 
especially if Manticore's a thing. I guess we just go for the long run with just a juiced up hand. Yeah, but you, you can't do... You don't, like, say it's a... Two provision card. Because it's ten provisions total. Right, by your logic. I mean, Ardor does just draw us the Orcs, which... I guess is fine. I don't want to mulligan any of the other cards, right? Just means I have to Ardor before I use Yen. Do we go for it, guys? Okay, shoot Punter. Oh no, no, no! The hell, man! The fuck is this? Please not orcs! Please not orcs! Don't be orcs! Okay. That ain't bad. Monka S, guys. Wee! Wee! Okay. We need to flip and draw this card already, man. You know what I mean? Yeah, maybe this Calvate was just always a bad play because I wanted to bleed. Do I just go for lock on Rodea? So Rodea is a 13 point card for 11. Meanwhile, Blightmaker is chilling at 11 points. Cards like Blightmaker is just good, right? Okay, I lost the point by not clicking. I suppose we just. Have five points on the effigy. I don't know this is bad because they get the deploy again, right? So awkward, mate, that I don't have the orcs. It's a little bit orcs. I know. <laughs> I've heard people have got like incredible records with this deck. Where they're like 15 and 0, and meanwhile, I'm out here <laughs> losing the first game with it by the looks of it. We might be okay.
But yeah, my Ardle's just bad, right? I guess I could Ardle first, just put this in hand. Is that a reasonable play? It is, right? The north must be destroyed. I want to flip an invo it, mate. I am at a high MMR-ish with Nilfgaard as well. Has anyone got Shin's list out of interest, please? So I do think we played this correctly, though, right? Mm -mm. If I invo Detlaf, then I don't have Orcs. I lose so many points. I don't lose that many points. I do. This was correct, right? This was like the, the best thing to give back anyway, because there's no deploy value on it. Everything else had a deploy value. Okay, guys. Close one. It's a close one, mate. Yeah, unfortunately, we didn't give ourselves any lock value. We're two ahead! I think we've done it. I think we've done it, guys. Let's go! Let's go, baby. This is Shins. Thank you. All right, so he's not playing the old uh, Witch Trio, which I think is like the flavor of the month, right? No Brothens. Isn't Brothens just good? Okay, one positive we have on this deck compared to the ball deck is I don't have to just mulligan all my golds for it. We could maybe keep the Remedy in hand. Um... Ointment or Tony Jask or Remedy. Yeah, exactly. It's like a better poet. Significantly better poet, right? I've got a dead leg, mate. Not ideal. Pins and needles, man. Did you guys see Jake Paul knocked out Tyrone Woodley? It was a flipping brutal knockout, mate, to be honest. Kind of embarrassing, guys. Everyone has their secrets. Everyone. So this is the worst thing about Brathens, but this card basically in this deck is just not going to be very good. Oh, I've got a dead leg. Forgive me for my dodgy standing position. I'm trying to flip in. Get rid of the pins and needles. King Brown is kind of bad, mate. King Bran is kind of bad, honestly. It's not great. I think he's significantly better in the... Uh, whatever the decks are called. Are we ever scared of getting bled by warriors? Not really, right? You do everything in your power to avoid reading anything about Jake Paul. I mean, I think it's pretty respectable, mate. He's absolutely done Tyrone Woodley. I think it's kind of hilarious. Fair play to him. This is our draft pass card. 
Why do we need cover? Exactly. Yeah, again, Ardo is just going to help us out quite a lot here because there's one, two, three cards and then whatever we invo, Ardo gives us, right? And imagine playing Joachim with no coup and stuff. We don't want to play Joachim to win this deck. But... Yeah, this is just the hand. In terms of proactivity, we can go Redea, Rathans. But like this is again, like, where, where would I have played the Truffle? I just don't believe in Truffle in this deck either. Like, where would I have played Truffle, guys? You know what I mean? I would have played it in round one if I had it. But I would not have been able to play it in round two because I had to play Calvate on the draw pass. So, is Truffle really a card I want when it's just an Illusionist plus six? I don't think so, right? I don't personally think so. I don't, I'm just surprised to see all these decks look very similar and mine look different. And I feel like this is just... I, I'm sure there's a reason. I've actually just, Gravesh has been playing a very similar looking deck, so I've actually just uh, asked him his thoughts. So maybe Rodea Lock is, is the way to go. I think it's probably worth more. To have some control. I guess we just uh, steal the Herald anyway. Chilly guys. More hawk to far yes. Let's play the left though before we can, right? So unfortunately it's just not worth. Is that even true? Maybe it's just not even true, right? I'm so used to orcs just never being worth. I don't know. I think this is a smoother approach, right? Sorry, guys. I know you wanted to see the orcs pop off, but true is he just doesn't <laughs> very often. I'm a mess, guys. I can't even drink out of a can. I spilt shit down myself, mate. Not actual shit. Okay. There's a gutting slash available off Lydia. I guess we just maybe take bribery here. We have a couple of warriors. Pretty sad, isn't it? You're coming with me, dead or alive. Red Fukushima, Harold, set up. Yo, James, what's up? Yeah, maybe we didn't need to front row the collar. So, is there like any specials 
Bronze specials which do one damage. I wonder if it's ever worth Lydia uh, invoing this. Because the res is so good. Is Lydia ever doing one damage in a good way? No. Other than informant? Yeah, I guess. Although... We're hitting a tactic at the moment. I do want to invoke something, right? And there's Harold. Pacusia, which are really good options for me. That's one big advantage of you know, right. I mean, probably want to invoke something first, guys, right? I'm also just not even sure if it's that good. Oh, it's not even good anymore because of this, right? Uh, yeah, that's true. I'm not even sure it ever was that good, though, because... I guess all these are deploy value anyway. But I feel like I want to invo the Herald, right? Pretty sure I want to invo this Herald. Grand Challenge Lord I played back in the beta. Yes, mate, it has. Have you just watched The Witcher by any chance? Woo! Welcome back, mate. It's good to have you back. When is popping off, mate. Trust me. So, should we shoop it? Shoop, shoop, shoop. Yeah, Aldo is awkward here, in fairness. It's only five points on this rope. Five point of deploy, but still bad. I don't know which shoop is the best. I don't really know what shoop does. I guess this one's good. Superb specimen, truly. What am I even supposed to do here, man? Is it the informant still? Guess. The north must be destroyed. This is like a Two point play, right? Minus two. This is minus five. I guess it's better on this. I deserve better. Kill the sons, steal the lashes. How does the uh, the zeal work? Can I still get zeal off this? It's just always better anyway, right? Here's the better loot than in your wildest, wettest dreams. Full service. Looks like a fat L, guys. No retreat, not one step. Kind of close. Hmm. Was well, a good bronze? I mean, that's a good question. Maybe there isn't. What if we just don't even play? What if we just play Brothens? Emma Stream, mate. Hoggers. 
We just don't play the informant and then we can still play Truffle. Yeah, Truffle is really nuts. Yeah, he probably isn't. He's also a 12, right? He is also a 12. Because of the informant. The informant's just very bad. What ended up happening with the video, I tried to upload it like five times and it didn't work. So, yeah. I've basically kind of given up on it for the moment, unfortunately. Uh, so they frost us up. Could clog it, it's not the best play. This is a pretty good card for them. What else are we going to clog though? Meh. Two damage, two bleeding's bad on it. I mean, yeah, I guess we can we can squeeze truffle in. I definitely don't want to play Ramon though, for sure. I'm anti the idea of Ramon. Great seat. I mean, I really flipping enjoyed it, but I don't know. Like, if I'm not swayed by other people, I'll give it a nine. But I know that other people, are, like, you know, there's very differing opinions on it. But I really enjoyed it, man. I definitely think there was, like, some. I don't know. Like, I could give it, like, if I was to say, like, give it an eight or whatever, that would be because of how much I think the Witcher, of how much potential the Witcher has, rather than me actually thinking that that's the score it deserves. That makes sense. Like if I was to give it anything less than a nine, it's because I think it could have been better because it's Witcher, not because I didn't think it was good. Like I think the show is great, but I do think it could be significantly better. Still, but I still thought it was like a massive improvement on season one, significantly. But maybe that's just because it's the first time I watched it, whereas I watched season one a few times and I could spot the flaws in it more. Yeah, I really enjoyed Witch Season 2. I shall not repeat these mistakes. This is obviously the situation where Truff was good for carryover if I had it. Especially because a lot of the time we don't actually have enough space in our hand to fit all the golds, right? Pretty much do though. So, do we need a lock from Radea, or is she just playing as value? Probably don't need a lock from her, right? She's my proactive option here, so. A surprise. But yeah, you can expect to see some Witcher videos coming from me soon. When I finish the stream today, I'm going to start working on another one. Do we ever invo this? Probably, right? It's a lot of points. This is a pretty good enslave. Uh, I could like maybe make some weather with Brathons, for example, right? So if I go enslave, what's my next play? I could go shoot like steel. Oh no, it's move a random unit, right? Sp 
spawn random row effects on all rows. <laughs> That's hilarious, man. Whenever you apply a row effect, boost self by its duration goes. <laughs> it's actually an option. I guess we go bribery. Look at the synergy, guys! No, I want to go for the random row effects, mate. It's a perfect opportunity. Foglet shoot. So, of course, my Ardal is going to draw me Oberon. It's a pretty big lad. I don't want to go Brathlands yet. I could play Serret just for value, I suppose. Is there any reason not to roast that here? Yeah, in case I actually do go for this weird shoot play, right? So, I don't want to go Brathens yet. I could go Lydia, I lose a point of Assimilate. Obviously, can't play Ardle here. I could just go Shoop, Value. Lock might find some better value. I think it's just fine to go for this, right? They actually don't have a Frost card in their graveyard, which I don't think they ever will either, right? Because it's just applies Frost rather than plays a Frost card. Come on, the Riders. Nice. Foglet played for so many points off of our leader. Holy moly. What a leader. What a leader! Gels could be an okay play because they might not have any other specials, but they might. So it's risky. It's risky. Shoop is like going to clear the weather on my side of the board, right? Should we just go for the Shoop weather play? It's kind of hilarious, right? Which one is it? I'll spawn a random row effect on an enemy row. Where's the one where it like does all the weather? Spawn random row effects on all rows for three turns. Shoot mage, guys. We're going for it. No, man. Oh, yeah. We got it. Oh! I should have put this in the front. Did this buff by the right amount? It didn't, right? Wasn't this bugged? Shouldn't this have buffed by like six more points? Oh, opposite side. Whenever you apply a row effect. Yeah, look. Whenever you didn't didn't this bug? Isn't this like a an interaction that should have worked in my favor? But didn't? Or am I tripping? It was damaged by frost. Pretty sure it didn't buff by enough. It only buffed by six. It should have buffed by twelve. Yeah, storm's a little unfortunate, isn't it? So I mean this I guess is fine. So does it make sense to reset this? I guess it does, right? Does it? Oh, we can reset Imrith. I mean, I guess that's better, right? Five points. I like it, mate. Resistance shall not be tolerated. Yeah. 
Last master, I don't think they've played. Maybe this boost was bad because I haven't played Wrath. Uh, I have, have, have played Wrath. I should have just checked that. I haven't played it. Your souls will Here we go. The big finisher. I have lived long and seen all oh. and I am born with it. We make certain that the farthest path is sated. I think we win. Shoot popping off, mate, with the weather. Oh, God. Has anyone got the clip, please, for the shoot? Because it is, it is a technically should have worked, but it didn't. Willy Nitta, Wag One. Mm, Yo, thanks for follows, guys. I appreciate it. Welcome. Hiya. Mulligans, 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 mulligans. We have orcs and Serret. Do we ever mulligan them though? Hmm. Maybe. Moonray's gonna die, so it's just like a four point card. This is a five with Thrive. I mean, we could odd all this. It's a big old commitment, though, isn't it? Yeah, I think that's exactly what happened. It didn't count cards on uh, us supplying weather on our side of the board. I kind of expect it might be the case, right? But still. Pretty sure this is a Calvate Ram 1 kind of game. I'm definitely scared of getting too owed. It's probably a invo on defender kind of game too, I would imagine. Because they play Sabbath. Okay. It's a really good card to get. I haven't given myself the opportunity to clog a rider for like more tempo, which is maybe a misplay. I think we're probably done here, right? What's this deck called? This deck is called the Omega Juicer Popping Off Shoop Redea Calvate on Enslave Ardle deck. I think. Pretty sure. Like, I, I kind of like keeping the coated weapons assassination. Because then we just have... I don't want to hit Letho, right? Like I could hit Bribery, but I just have Letho, Serret, Orcs for round 3. This line. I don't want to hit Bribery and then have to mulligan. Like, if I hit Letho, I have to mulligan it, right? These are good. So I actually still have a round 3. Actually, I have 4 cards for round 3, but we can draw this too, I guess. A fine vintage it would have made. So they're devotion, which means they likely don't play Sabbath. Do I lead of this, I wonder? Do you guys think I lead of this?
feel like it's correct. Again, these mulligans. Like, if I didn't take these mulligans, I'd have like a way too good a hand, right? But this is a nice clog on the Garcane. Surprised they're still committing as much as they are, truth be told. They're kind of just going for it, right? Don't have any special cards for Lydia yet. Uh, I don't massively want to play this here. Uh, I guess I just go for the Lydia. Solid 12, 11 really. Rothman's got the other point. But I might just be thinking I'm only, I've am only i only got gold cards left and I've still got the assassination to just try and... Uh, it's not going to be able to answer a debt laugh. I can get it pretty weak, right? So I've got a couple of options. We could Invo this. Invo's nice for Regis though in a short round. I guess we just go Redea Lock. Obviously I could go Assassination plus Necorat. But then we just Lock. Then we need to try and hold the Invo for Regis. Right? I have Last Sayer. Gotta hope, of course, we hit bribery off the top deck, not Letho. Oberon's a legit invo, though. It's a little slow, but it's somewhat legit. I guess we just take the. Invo isn't enough, bro. Right? Just we take the shoot. Is shoot night enough here, guys? It's eight. I'm losing three plus two. I'm losing three, four, five points max. Maybe all the one the bruiser's fine. I just play a valley shoot, honestly. Look at the synergy, guys. Should have boosted Lydia. Really? Let's go, baby. God, you Regis. I guess this is the hand, unfortunately. Sorry, Sarah and Orcs. The Regis synergy as well, mate. Look at that value.
May, even there was a guys I'm going to say it there was a Gwent reference in Witcher Season 2 I don't think that's a spoiler because you probably would have missed it anyway but there was a Gwent reference did, did any of you catch it? and I'm not talking about Gwent the game within Witcher 3 I'm talking about Gwent the Witcher card game there was a Gwent the Witcher card game reference specifically Hoggers yeah, there was a reference to Shoop, mate. Geralt says that he had a dream, a re or a reoccurring dream, about an overly friendly rock troll. Why no mushy? I wanted to play Brothens and I couldn't fit both. I might I might play Mushy though. But my logic is that I want to Calvate. I don't know. I just don't think the card's that good. It's good if for it's good for the six don't get me wrong. Mushy Shuffle is great. It's really good for the carryover. But it's not actually good in round three, really. It's not playing for many points in round three, really. It's not bad. It's playing for like twelve or so probably. Pretty good. Is this guy okay? Is everything alright, mate? But there's a Gwent reference. There's also um on my video there's a there's a Gorn Throw Dim reference. I actually think there's a couple, but there's one that I think is like definitely. I don't know, it's definitely, but it's likely to be. Could play in the pocket three, yeah, true. I guess we just boost this up to make the bounty awkward. I don't really care if they slam jam Grodd and root. They have Sunset Wanderers, I only just noticed. Chat, you're supposed to tell me when you see Sunset Wanderers. What, you think I pay attention to my opponent's hand? Bruh. Alright, easy Rodea Crystal Skull, guys. We have to go for it. Uh, I did post it four times and uh, Netflix blocked it each time. They can still grad in it though, right? <laughs> it's just not too appealing. I could pass as it forces a long round. Which is probably fine for us. Maybe. Is passing good here? Hmm. Kind of seems okay. <laughs> hmm. Could play Calvate. Let's play Calvate, I guess. I forgive you. This like, they're going to over-profit as, as it stands, right? Try and get Sunset Wanderers from them. By just staying in the round a little longer as well. Yeah, we could have taken the pass, but like this isn't great for them. They can go if they go trafficker, they over profit with the bounty, right? And if they go poison, they over profit. So, wow, what? Bruh, I think our oh, Calvate was a good play. Are we ready to pass yet? I could clog a witch hunter. It's actually a really bad Ardor, right? Because I think the counter resets. <laughs> they could mulligan it. It's a good Ardor in round three, though, you're right. But in this situation, it's actually impressively bad, right? I think they won the round, guys. Why, why, why are they not trying to get max carrier as well? What the hell? Oh my god! Uh oh! Uh oh! <laughs> uh oh! Uh oh! Okay. 
Honestly, guys, Shoop is growing on me. I actually paid for this recently, this month. I was never a big Shoop fan. I was a bit of a Shoop hater. This is where you want Trushy Muffle, though, but I have bribery. <laughs> it's fine. Uh-oh. Yes, Ryan. What's up, brother? Have you watched season two yet? We are, of course, a spoiler-free zone. Look at this one carry over bribery, mate. Nice one, mate. By the way, I hit Onyx. Woohoo! In uh, Halo. I hit flipping Onyx, mate. In Halo. This is the biggest achievement of my career. Yes. Agreed. With that, Mr. Godric. Uh, they have spenders. <laughs> Excuse me, off remedy. I think I like the assassination. I think lock is good for a day. <laughs> With Letho, maybe not. Any idea why episode one had so much dub over and weird cut? I didn't know this person. Man, I can't believe I didn't play round the Scorch in in a syndicate. What am I doing? What am I doing, guys? What was I thinking? I'm a fool. I'm a fool, guys. I can't believe it. It was so obvious. So I actually did want to try a syndicate deck like this, but I wouldn't play it quite as badly. Basically the idea this guy of this guy's deck, which you're not going to get to see in action, is they just win round one with Sunset, and then they have Savola, King of Beggars, round two. Round three, but they obviously used it. That's a pretty big high roll. But yeah, this is actually a deck I wanted to try. They've also gone for Cove, which I don't like, because you don't need the spender with uh, Thingamajigger. But maybe they're just saying they're going to win round one with Savola, and then they're just going to flip in Cove, double Cove leader, it's like final say, as opposed to Savola, final say. But I feel like a better way to do it would just be... Best looking storm I've charmed up in a long while. What? As good as dead, that what? Huh? Beg your pardon? Skep Skepta? Why would they Skepta first, huh? What? I repeat again, what, mate? This guy's playing actual Skepta, mate. Yeah, it's a shutdown, eh? Why did they play this first and then this? I actually want to play some Syndicate like this. What we'll do, when we're bored of Rodeo, guys, we're going to try no unit Syndicate. Okay. It is something I wanted to try myself, as I say. Guys, we could Invo the Emissary. Sounds pretty OP, doesn't it? No, this deck makes sense, mate. Uh, if this guy still had Savola, King of Beggars, and secured last say, just uh, not going to be a fun time for me, is it? But for some reason, they decided not to do it like that. I 
thought I'd seen everything, but I'm actually impressed. That was a pretty good impression, guys. Sometimes I've had about enough. Get absolutely flipping locked, mate. Turns out my Rodeo play was uh, mm, not great. Look at my leader value, though, guys. It's very exciting. Wait, isn't it actually fine to idle this? Because they can't... They'd have to... No, they could play it last. Yeah, is that fine or bad? Is this good? I have four coins. So I will draw... The remedy, right? I guess I could... Hit the informant. Hmm. Because I can hit this. If I was guaranteed remedy, I'd do it though. Oh god. Yeah, we actually lost guys, right? Oh, almost. Very good stratagem. So I could add five points extra. Would I have one with ex five extra points? Probably. Didn't help I got scorched for 16. Oh dear. They played it like kind of horribly. I guess against Enslaver doesn't really matter though. But yeah, I mean that's obviously with King of Beggars. Like that kind of deck actually makes sense. I wanted to build the same thing.